okay so this is a default uh, Joomla installation and uh, we have already installed Joomla component on this website now I'll be showing how to install the Joomla modules let me log into the administrator password okay here it is on the desktop so let me go back let me go to install or uninstall choose file desktop module okay now I have installed the module for uh, HDFL player now let me show um, as you know we have to enable the module first let me go in here okay it is disabled by default let me enable this let me open this now I'm going to set this on the home page so let me put it just below the login form show title enabled access level okay let it show on all the pages okay let me save this okay let me see how it comes on the home page of Joomla site okay Alright, it's come like this. It's okay, because the default size is bigger. Let me reduce the size for the player. Let me have this with 200. I will ha we'll have this 115. Let me save this. Okay, now it seems to be okay. So, since we have uh, reduce the size uh, to 150 or 200 um, we have to disable few controls to have this look neat okay so let me disable few controls I don't require full screen zoom share on this let me see how it works okay now it seems to be okay right so this is how we install module okay so you, now you'll be having question how to uh, have a multiple module so that we can display different videos on different pages okay I'll show you how and for example here the videos are coming from the component so whatever the videos uploaded on the component it will be placed there so instead let me assign a a playlist for that particular module so that it will have it have its own uh, videos set of set set of videos so let me create a playlist for that let me see home page it is for home page model so let me have it home page click save let me go to videos let me click on new video video mm -hmm. that's your okay, let me see home page video HTT. let me get a video from YouTube say Joomla so now let me go to the model manager let me assign that particular playlist here let me see whether I can do that yeah let me see okay so here I can I'm selecting the home page mm, 
me see they changed okay great so it's showing the uh, showing the videos from the new playlist okay so this is a one method uh, and uh, for example let me try adding more videos first before I show you something videos mm, okay let me edit this and assign a playlist home page okay now let me see whether I can see both the videos there Here it is. So I see two videos for that uh, particular playlist. So this is one method, and you also have an option to, if you would like to have a single video for that particular module, then instead of selecting uh, modules, or I mean, instead of selecting the playlist, you can directly give the URL here. For example, let me say none. Let me give the URL directly here hdfldplayer.net slash videos slash 300.mp4 let me go here let me refresh ok here it is so it shows a single video So this is one method. This is one method, and um, to add uh, more videos to the models. So now let me show you how to create uh, multiple modules, so that you can uh, insert those models in you know, different uh, pages in Joomla. Now, so yeah, let me click on new. Let me select HJFLD player. I click next. Okay. Now it's asking for the title. So let me say HJFLD player 2. Okay. Let me see when it should appear. Not on all the pages. So let me select F FAQ so that when someone click on FAQ it will show the module so I have selected and I have to select the position here so let me see Okay, great. So now it's showing here on both the places. So when you click FAQ, we get this because we assign this particular model to the particular page, which is FAQ. But here, why are we seeing the this model here? Because we have uh, set it so that it will show on all the pages on this position. So this is how you can have multiple modules and you can have different videos for the different modules. So if you have any any more doubts on how to create modules or how to assign playlists, you can always send us an email or send message from our website. Our email address would be support at hdflvplayer.net or you can initiate live chat from hdflvplayer.net website. Thank you.